Hey guys, gals, and commanders of all ages. It's been a while since I did a video, um, and I'm sorry. Um, been working a lot. Uh, lots of overtime. Lots of overtime, and this COVID-19 thing is, uh, it's really getting old. Um, <clears throat> so let me keep it upbeat and not get into that crap. So what I'm doing is, as you know, I've been trying to put together my sets. That kind of thing. Uh, I have been doing a little work here and there. Um, this is what I'm doing, guys. If if you guys remember this kind of stuff, uh, the old Warhammer Quest, I actually picked up some pieces and put together a set. Now, uh, I can't. I used to have the Warhammer Quest game a long, long time ago. I never really got into it, and I ended up cutting up all the all the figures that go with it, like right there. I ended up cutting them up and turning them into 40k people. <laughs> How I managed that, I don't know, but I don't have them anymore. But uh, what I have been doing, or what I've been trying to do, is get all these Games Workshop games together. Like uh, Warhammer Quest right here, right? So I have a complete Warhammer Quest game there. We have a Warhammer... Um, with the Bretonians and the um, lizard men right here. So I've got that going on. So I'm putting that together. That's actually almost all together. Um, the skinks. Ah, I think I have all the skinks now. We got Terran in attack. We got the Space Crusade, Advanced Space Crusade. And then we got Overkill, Space Hulk, Space Hulk, Space Hulk. Blackstone Fortress, which is a Warhammer Quest game, and we have the Rogue Trader, Imperial Knights Renegade. Uh, I threw this thing up on eBay. Um, this Fantasy Warriors, which has been down in my basement for so long. It's by Grenadier Games, and I'm, I actually put that up on eBay to get rid of it. And I'm actually selling this off on eBay as well. Uh, it's 10, 10 nights with I think 10, 10 arches, but it's all here, there's uh, the battle magic, so the, all the saurus are there on their um, sprues, but I had 10, uh, 10 Bretonian knights in there, and we've got 10 arches here, so I put them together, so I could, uh, Throw it on eBay, make a little money, maybe buy another game, something different, because I actually have two sets of these. Uh, not a complete set of this one. I do have on the other one, yes, but this is a partial set, so I'm going to get rid of that. And we got uh, this Elven Cherry came in the other day, which is really cool. That's an old one. And we got Digger Knob here, which is pretty cool. You guys remember Gorkum Walker? That's the Digger Knob. Um, Titan Legions, my old boy Hammer, uh, with the Dark Eldar and the um, T Black Templars. Then we have the Battle from the Crag, Death Mask, and uh, what else? Shadow Spear and Dark Vengeance. And I did pick up the Indominus. Uh, I figured, wow, well, what the hell, why not? So I did pick up that new set for Dominus, and we'll see how that goes. Um, let me put you down for a second. Just back up. And then we got little kits there and there. So uh, what I'm doing is putting together the um, Warhammer Fantasy Battle Armies. We got some Battle Master stuff over here. We got the Orcs. Chaos Warriors, Chaos Archers, Chaos Knights. Uh, we got Battle Masters, Goblins, Goblin Wolf Riders. Uh, and then we got some Beast of Gores over there, which are actually um, Battle Master as well. And I'm going to paint them up. And then we got some Goblins from the, uh, this one right here. I keep forgetting the name of it. Uh, Battle for Skull Pass. So that's what those guys are there. Uh, what else we got going on? 
I picked up these little miniatures off of eBay for a couple of bucks each. You got a little wraith right there. A little ranger. I thought it was pretty cool. I like that pose. I never saw that before. And we got Medusa. Which doesn't really look like Medusa. But I'll go with it. So uh, this is my little collection of Grenadier loose figures here. And we got all kinds of neat stuff in here. Um, skeletons, knights, um, demons, Wraith Riders, Lord of the Rings. And I love this guy right here. Molly Hatchet, uh, what's his, uh, Death Dealer, um, Frank Frazetta painted him, and I always love that painting, and, uh, so I grabbed this figure, this is, this is a Ralph Hotha figure from, uh, 1978, yeah, very cool, so, yeah, I got him, and there's actually a, uh, there's a Death Dealer on foot as well, but I've never seen it. Um, then we got all kinds of other neat little figures in here. Yeah. Knights, rangers, archers, magic users, nymphs. Just all kinds of neat sh stuff. Paladins. Yeah, so I'm putting it, I'm trying to put all this stuff together. And um, these are the... Um, let me see. These are Battlemaster and Imperial Troops. And this is the Altdorf set. This is the uh, Games Workshop box set for the Warriors of Altdorf. For the Empire. And then uh, this is... Look at that. That's the Battlemaster right there. And that's the regular Games Workshop fig right there. Uh, they are pretty neat. So they're pretty cool. I like that. And then let me show you what else I've been doing. Uh, these figures came in. Uh, these are, uh, I got them off of eBay, and these are pretty neat. Um, I like these a lot. Uh, we got these, supposed to go with Medusa that I picked up, and I'll show you. These Cobra Men are pretty neat. They're pretty big. So they're, they're really big sized monsters. But uh, they're, they're pretty cool. A little bat fell over. Another little bat fell over, and here we get, we begin the domino effect of knocking everything over, which is aggravating. All right, so what do we got going on? Oh, we got Minotaurs from uh, Warhammer Quest. These bats are from Warhammer Quest. Those orcs are from Warhammer Quest, along with those orcs there, the archers. And these gobos are from Warhammer Quest as well. The little rats, the little spiders are from Warhammer Quest. This is a Warhammer Quest Orc from the Orc's Lair. I picked up these two cool Citadel Scorpions, which are pretty neat. Thought they were pretty cool. And what else we got going on? Let me bring you on over here and show you what I've been painting. Um, okay, so what do we got? We got another, we got another Warhammer Quest fig there. We've got... Kind of betrayer in metal. We have kind of betrayer in resin, fine cast. We have my original kind of betrayer, all bulked out with orky arms, and I uh, I like him. He's pretty cool. But I wanted the original. I thought that was a metal one, but it turned out to be resin. So I ordered another one. So I have both. And then uh, I did a um. Yeah, there he is. There's my, uh, my, uh, my, um, con, the betrayer that I modified from that Warhammer, uh, gladiator combat game. But yeah, he's pretty cool. So I, I'm digging him. He's pretty neat. So I like that. Uh, what else are we doing? Okay, so then we've got this young lady here that we're doing, we're doing the sorceress. And we got this dwarf here. Now we're doing. We got this elf that we're doing here. And we got this sorceress here that we're doing. And we've got a hero quest figure painting up. We got some more hero quest guys in the background that we're doing over there. We've got a Medusa here that I'm working on. 
And then we've got this pirate, rogue, whatever you want to call her, right there. And then we have this Vampirella look-alike, which is pretty neat. She's, I'm digging her. She's pretty cool. So I'm doing that. And we got this female dwarf here, which I thought was nice. A little male companion dwarf right there. Then we got Warhammer Quest dwarf right there. We have painting up a Warhammer Quest elf right there. We've got painting up the Warhammer Quest Barbarian. And then we've got the Warhammer Quest Wizard that we're painting. And then we've got the Bretonian Warhammer Quest Knight. And then we have the Pit Fighter right here. And then we have one of my favorites, the Witch Hunter right there. thought that was pretty neat. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, putting together my um, second edition Space Marine. So we've got, you know, like always, right? The, still working on the... Um, the Ultramarines, and we've got a full company here of second edition Marines. Don't know who they're going to be yet, um, but I do have a few more coming in to complete the third company over here of Space Marines. And we've got a full company here of Blood Angel Space Marines for the second edition. So I need two more squads here. That's going to give me uh, one, two, three, four. That's going to be four full companies of second edition Space Marines and that static pose. Um, we got them over here. These are the two squads I've been working on right here. I'm just waiting for some pots to come in. Then I'll drill out the, um, the uh, missile launches. Got to get him a new banner pole. And then I'm missing two flamers, which are coming. And then I just got to fill out with a couple more, I believe, uh, at least three more um, regular tactical space marines. And th that two squads will finish that company off. And I will have four complete companies of um, second edition Warhammer Space Marines. I just got to figure out how I'm going to paint them. Now, I'm not going to go with Dark Angels because I have second edition Metal Marines here, which are going to be the Dark Angels. And I'm working on my Space Wolves. I got the Space Wolves right here. And right there. So those are the Space Wolves. And I'm just trying to cobble them together. And that's about what I'm doing, guys. I, I, it's a lot going on, and it's like I'm going a mile a minute and not getting anything done look at this giant man look at this giant ain't he cool that's such a cool giant i just picked him up a couple of days ago and then look at this this is kings of war this orc warlord look at this this is a beauty man what a great what a great figure that's kings of war man they're putting out some neat stuff you know so i i got that for the, the orc warlord boss and um <laughs> we've got elves humans dwarfs more humans humans and uh we've got a mixed evil army of orcs chaos dark elves uh beast men and all that neat stuff and that's that's gonna be a surprise i'm putting it together but uh once we once i get my stuff together here I like to do kind of a, like a, a, a war game with everybody involved and kind of like a play-by-mail type thing, except doing YouTube and, and uh, emails. And I get this box of cold ones that's been sitting in my closet for a long time. And so they'll go with the, the, with the, um, the dark elves over there. And then we got the witches over here, which I thought were pretty cool. I like those girls. They're pretty neat. And uh, the witch elves will also go with the dark elves. And that's it, guys. Um, basically, that's what I've been up to. Uh, trying to stay above the fray. Taking it easy. And uh, just relaxing and trying to. And I picked up... I don't know if you guys remember this. But I picked up this game right here. Yes, I did. It's Warhammer Shadow of the Horn Rat on PlayStation.
can see this. I don't know if you guys ever saw this before, but man, I love this game. This this game and Resident Evil were my favorite games. And uh, it's on the PlayStation 1. Yep. Let's see. And but this was a cool game. And I'll just fast forward to load the game. I forget where I was. I believe it was this one, I was right there. And you get to pick your troops over here. And it gives you all your combat troops. That grudge bring a cavalry Ragnar's wolves grudge bring a infantry the black Avengers the first Carlson God second Carlson God Seridan the mercenary crossbows and the wizard first mortar crew second mortar crew and that's it that's what I got so far but it's a neat game. It's a it's a like uh, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, 